Vic Amory represents 14 independent medical research institutes with over 5,000 staff and students working tirelessly in unlocking the mysteries of fundamental biology, researching new therapies, and working on solving currently untreatable conditions. Ultimately, we're all working together on this huge but not insurmountable goal. The thing that really excites me about working in the Victorian medical research sector is just how broad our work is. We're looking at the research, treatment and diagnosis of so many diseases, including cancer, stroke, infectious diseases like malaria and HIV, and even improving treatments for hearing and sight. For a long time we've been looking for a way of measuring someone's hearing when they can't respond for themselves. Having this new technology will enable us to provide some more certainty early on and perform early intervention that really makes a difference. Right now we're in a development phase with research that's going on underneath it. If we, if we had more resources, both of those things would go faster. Often it's very difficult to undertake research into rare diseases because of a paucity of resources that you can perform experiments on. One of the primary goals of this program was to develop a living biobank and essentially what that means is to process the tissue in a way that it's growing and it's renewable so it will never ever run out. With funding from the Children's Cancer Foundation last year we established uh, the first uh, precision medicine program for uh, pediatric uh, patients. We've shown that we can generate these models with a high success rate and we can conduct these screens and identify the therapies. This can be applied to any cancer type. Um, common adult cancers, rare cancers, uh, cancers that have very poor outcomes. So every cancer patient in the future may have the option to have a tailored, um, personalised therapy. So our lab is focused on understanding stem cells and how some of those stem cells make the different white blood cells of the immune system. And we found that not every cell is identical. In fact, they're all very different and that might have implications for how we use those stem cells in regenerative medicine or other therapies. So some of the work that researchers here did decades ago was thought as stamp collecting at the time. But now we know that the cell types that they were looking at are critical for anti-cancer immunity. And we're now harnessing those to fight cancer and find better treatments or ways to diagnose disease. I'm just one example. In my lab, there are six brilliant scientists. We have 1,064 people at WeHi. And across all 14 independent medical research institutes, we have 5,371 talented people working tirelessly every day to find better treatments, to better and faster diagnose disease, and improve the lives of Victorians. As a state, we benefit from a strong medical research sector. With the right resources, we can do so much more.